John Wayne was often referred to as the Duke in his movies, but often this moniker carried on off screen. This is because he was a ladies' man and there were many women whose hearts he stole. And then there were also some who stole his heart. Facts First presents John Wayne confessed she was the love of his life. John Wayne had a complex and enduring relationship with his wife, Josephine. Their love story spanned several decades and was marked by both moments of joy and several challenges. John Wayne first met Josephine Saints in the early 30s when she was a struggling actor. The two were instantly drawn to each other, and their whirlwind romance led to marriage in 1933. The marriage was far from perfect, with John's career taking him away for long periods while he pursued his Hollywood dreams. This separation put a strain on their relationship, but Josephine remained steadfast. She often accompanied him on movie sets and did her best to create a stable home life for their four children, even as John's fame continued to grow. Despite the challenges, their bond remained strong. John Wayne's tough, rugged, on-screen persona contrasted with his loving and devoted persona of a husband and father off-screen. Josephine was instrumental in helping him overcome personal demons, including alcoholism. John and Josephine's relationship was a remarkable blend of Hollywood glamour and genuine love. Through the ups and downs of the marriage, they remained dedicated to each other, leaving a legacy of enduring love and family values. They eventually divorced in 1945 after 12 years of marriage. Esperanza Bauer His relationship with his second wife, Esperanza Bauer, was marked by turbulence and controversy. Their union, which lasted from 1946 to 54, was fraught with challenges and ultimately ended in a highly publicized and acrimonious divorce. Esperanza Bauer, born in Mexico as Esperanza Diaz Ceballos, was an exotic beauty who caught John's eye during a trip to Mexico in 1941. They embarked on a passionate and whirlwind romance, and Wayne divorced his first wife, Josephine, to marry Bauer in 1946. But the marriage was troubled from the outset. Esperanza's fiery temperament clashed with John Wayne's strong-willed personality. Their frequent arguments and conflicts became legendary in Hollywood circles. Esperanza's possessiveness and jealousy often strained the relationship, leading to a tumultuous and unstable home life. She was apparently jealous of his commitment to work and his success, and also believed he was having affairs with other prominent actresses behind her back. The couple's differences extended beyond their personal lives and into their careers. Her aspirations as an actress were largely eclipsed by Wayne's towering fame. This added to the tension within their relationship as Wayne's career continued to flourish. In 1954, they divorced amidst a highly publicized legal battle. Pilar Paulette John Wayne's relationship with his third wife, Pilar Paulette, was a significant departure from his previous marriages. It marked a period of stability and contentment in the life of the iconic Hollywood actor, providing him with a loving and supportive partnership that lasted until his death in 1979. Pilar, born in Peru, was an accomplished actress in her own right and had met John in her native country. She was still married at the time, as was he, but their love blossomed almost immediately. They were introduced through mutual friends and quickly developed a strong connection. Their romance blossomed, leading to marriage in 1954, shortly after Wayne's tumultuous divorce from his second wife, Esperanza, and Pilar's divorce from her husband. Unlike Wayne's previous marriages, which were often marked by one challenge after the next, his relationship with Pilar was characterized by harmony and mutual respect. Pilar's warmth, grace, and cultural background brought a sense of balance to Wayne's life, and they shared a deep love for each other. Pilar became an integral part of Wayne's life, both personally and professionally. She supported him through the ups and downs of his career and was often by his side at movie premieres and public events. Their shared love for travel and adventure led to many exciting experiences together, and they often explored the world as a couple. They had three children together, Aisa, John Ethan, and Marissa. Wayne was a doting father and relished his role as a family man. Pilar's nurturing presence helped create a stable and loving home for their children. One of the most touching aspects of their relationship was Pilar's unwavering support during Wayne's battle with cancer. She stood by his side throughout his illness, offering comfort and strength until his passing in 1979. What's more interesting, they had actually separated before his death. 
Yet the separation was amicable and they never actually got divorced. Marlene Dietrich John Wayne and Marlene Dietrich, two iconic figures of the golden age of Hollywood, shared an intriguing relationship that transcended the boundaries of friendship and romance. Their connection was marked by mutual admiration, professional collaboration, and a deep respect for each other's talents. They never got married but seemed to be madly in love. Their first meeting took place on the set of the 1940 film Seven Sinners, in which they co-starred. John Wayne was already a well-established leading man, known for his rugged charm and western roles. Marlene was an international sensation, renowned for her sultry beauty and smoky voice. Their on-screen chemistry was palpable, and it translated into a genuine off-screen friendship. Despite their vastly different backgrounds and personas, John Wayne and Marlene Dietrich formed a close bond. Wayne was captivated by her charisma and elegance, while she appreciated his down-to-earth nature and integrity. Their friendship deepened during the filming of The Spoilers in 1942, and it was rumored that they became romantically involved. Their professional collaboration continued with the 1942 film Pittsburgh and the 1944 movie Kismet. Their on-screen partnership was celebrated by fans and critics, and their dynamic chemistry made them a popular Hollywood duo. While their romantic involvement was never officially confirmed, the friendship endured over the years. They remained close until John Wayne's death in 1979. Maureen O'Hara John Wayne confessed she was the love of his life. Okay, not quite. He never stated he was in love with Maureen O'Hara, but he did show that he respected and cared about her a lot. That's why many wondered if they would have made a great couple. But some people feel their personalities were too strong and they would have clashed. Their first collaboration was in the 1952 film The Quiet Man, directed by John Ford. This Irish-American romantic comedy drama showcased their incredible on-screen chemistry, with Wayne playing the role of Sean Thornton and O'Hara as Mary Kate Danaher. The film's success solidified their status as one of Hollywood's most beloved pairings. They shared an enduring friendship. Wayne often referred to O'Hara as his favorite leading lady, and they developed a strong mutual respect. O'Hara once stated Wayne was, quote, the greatest lover she ever had on the screen, and their on-screen kisses were legendary. Despite their close friendship, John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara were reportedly never romantically involved, or at least they never admitted to it. O'Hara once explained she cherished their platonic relationship because it allowed them to work together so effectively on screen without the complications of a romantic entanglement. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of John Wayne? Let us know in the comments section below.